the world has been taken by storm with AI. We're all waiting for that big break for blockchain. We're wondering whether it's the banks that need to take over and adoption's gonna come. Or could it be something else? Could AI be the key to blockchain adoption? Let's get into it. So I've looked at all the different ways that AI could actually contribute to blockchain and make actually blockchain even better and potentially even create the adoption for blockchain. And I've honed that down into five different topics. The first topic is security. Can AI help on the security front? Smart contract optimization. We've got market analysis and decision-making in general. We've got operational efficiency. So how well would AI actually make the blockchain work on an operational level? And then there's also misinformation, which I think is a really interesting one, which is why I've saved it till last. If you have any of your own thoughts on this topic, please let me know in the comments. Let's get into number one. The main thing to understand about security and blockchain is that is cryptography. Cryptography itself is already very, very secure. So I'm trying to think of a, a world wherein AI can actually help the security of blockchains. And it would probably be more in the realm of detection of threats. So if you have a machine that has basically learned how this blockchain operates and has learned how problems arise in security on that blockchain, you can spot those warning signs earlier using AI and machine learning to be able to contribute better to that blockchain security. But it's kind of tough for me to think about a system that's better than consensus mechanisms that are already built into blockchains already. They're already very secure. So you might be watching this video going, okay, this is a little bit boring, but what I'm trying to do here is also align all of these things that AI can be doing for blockchain and integrate them into like how it looks in your life. Like, what does this mean for you? And I think for you, all you really care about is your, your assets being secure and private. And if AI can help do that, even though I don't necessarily think it needs to, then I'm willingly going to accept AI come into blockchain in that capacity. Do I think that security enhancement and having that done via AI on the blockchain is the way that the blockchain gets adopted? I don't think so, but maybe the next one will. That next one being smart contracts. So I could talk about this one without really even looking at my notes here, because I'm quite passionate about this one. AI so far with ChatGPT and any of the large language models that have come out, we've seen their ability to even pass like the bar exam, for example. They can, they can provide their own legal advice at the same standard, if not better, than humans, right? And so when you're talking about law and you want to write up uh, some sort of sales document, let's say you want to move your digital assets from you as an individual into your company, you'd have to go to a lawyer for that, right? And you'd have to get that all written up. And when it does get written up, it won't be a smart contract, right? It will be a piece of paper or a file on a computer held by the lawyer and just sent to you. It's very much something that is held within the traditional system. But when we look at smart contracts, these are contracts that can execute upon certain things happening. For example, your digital assets then move from you as an individual into your company. And all of a sudden on your will, those digital assets are now included in your will under what you give away as part of your business. And those things can happen automatically when there are smart contracts involved. But the biggest hurdle right now for smart contracts is the creation of smart contracts. Who do you know that can make a smart contract? <laughs> like there's literally, I don't know. Well, I do, I do know a few people that could make a smart contract, but it's wildly complex and difficult. What if you could use AI using natural language, which we have seen with ChatGPT's recent release of GPTs, you can use natural language to create something on the other side. You can say it like this, just like this. I'm writing my will. I want my digital assets, specifically my XRP, to be moved from this address into my daughter's address, but I need that written up contractually so I can add it to my will, right? You say that, it gives you a few questions. Where do you live, blah, blah, blah. You could even just say that in the prompt that you give it, and it will generate an automatically executable smart contract based on what you've just told it. You haven't had to go to a lawyer. You haven't had to go to find a developer who can make a smart contract. It's just done the whole thing. So I really think smart contracts are gonna come into the real world via AI 
Uh, this is going to be one of my bold predictions. I really think smart contracts are going to be the next big thing in blockchain technology as far as it relates to the retail environment. So the normal person out there will start to get used to creating contracts and sometimes won't even realize that what they're operating on and what they're building is in fact a smart contract. There are going to be means by which people in the public can just create smart contracts by prompting a few things in AI. And I think people are really going to start implementing things like that. And I think really from the retail perspective, from the everyday person, they're just going to think, oh, there's this cool thing. You can just create a contract. Oh, and also you can click this button and it will execute those things when those things happen. They won't realize that underneath what has happened is they've created a smart contract and it's can now execute automatically. So I don't know if that is there yet. Actually, now I think about it, you can ask your AI language model to create code in specific languages. So really you could probably still make your own using the current technology with the way AI the way it is right now. You could probably make a smart contract that executes just by asking it to generate it in, in code instead using one of the languages used that the blockchain is built on. So smart contracts is gonna be a massive thing in the adoption of blockchain and it will all happen because AI is gonna make it more accessible. The next area is market analysis and decision-making. Now, when you've got AI, you, you have actually have the ability to be able to process huge amounts of data all at once. And so it can take those data and draw connections and create parallels and correlations and all kinds of things. So who's to say that you can't just upload all of the history, the price history of every cryptocurrency or even one individual cryptocurrency and AI will be able to then use those trends and the, that all that data, create connections that you never thought existed and then even spit out some sort of code or an indicator that you can place onto your charts to see how you need to act next based on all the historical data. What if and AI is now able to even read the charts. There's a whole other thing right there. It's able to read the charts and identify Elliott wave lines and apply theory by the word to the charts that it sees right in front of it. Now, I've read a few books by Ray Dalio, but there's a few ways that he was so deep into an industry that he understood that in the oil industry, for example, he was able to look at satellite images to see the levels of the reservoirs of oil that they had and then be able to make his positions in the market accordingly based on the height of the oil levels in those tanks. What if that was all tracked by data? What if all the internet of things was applied and basically everything? So the level of the oil in that barrel is on the blockchain, right? It's like tokenized and you can see that live data. What happens now? You're able to kind of apply all of that data from multiple different areas and create strategies and make decisions based on all of that. So I think from the business perspective and actually probably even from the big money perspective and analyzing the market and making decisions based on that data set and that analysis is gonna be the reason why blockchain takes over completely in the business space using AI. This won't necessarily impact the retail person like me and you unless you are keen to understand how to invest in areas and you can apply that data yourself. Like that's all accessible to you. But when we're looking at actually creating blockchain adoption, it just feels like more of a businessy thing to do uh, rather than an independent person. So I don't necessarily think it's essential for blockchain adoption, but I do think that's gonna play a massive role. And let's talk about operational efficiency now. And I'm gonna talk about a very specific type of operation and that would be transactions because after all, they are called cryptocurrencies. So we want basically to be doing transactions with these things. And in order to make something efficient in transactions, it needs to be very quick. So when we look at XRP, for example, these transactions happen and they're verified in three to five seconds. Well, that's great, but how much of those three to five seconds are the blockchain basically figuring out how to transact, right? And obviously they have their process on how to transact, but it takes some time. What if AI was able to come in and increase that speed even further? Now, I would really like to see if there were projects out there looking to use AI to speed up transactions, specifically on the XRP ledger. If you know anything that exists like that, let me know in the comments. But the thing about operational efficiency is that it's kind of really already efficient, right? Blockchain has been made as this new thing to be more efficient than the traditional system. And we even have XRP that does 
transactions in three to five seconds versus three to five days. So maybe in a hundred years, when now we're looking for the next big thing, maybe reducing that to 0.3 to 0.5 seconds might be a priority. But for now, I just don't think the operational efficiency that AI could offer blockchain warrants adoption for that reason. Now, a really, really interesting one. I think maybe the most interesting, I don't think the most important, but the most interesting is misinformation. We've seen this war, Ukraine and Russia, and basically global, and it's kind of scary about there potentially being a World War III. But regardless of all of that, one of the big problems that comes out of all of that is how technology has advanced to such a degree where sometimes you're able to clone faces, you're able to clone voices. Who's to say that Joe Biden couldn't come onto the news and declare war, but it was actually an AI version of him? How do we know if this is the real Joe Biden or not? And this has real life consequences. So we can either have a World War III or not. This has a real big impact if we can verify the original footage. There are already blockchains working on this to be able to verify specific video files on the blockchain. But I do wonder whether this could be made even easier or even quicker using AI. Because right now, as it stands, I can tell when I see an AI photo. I can tell when I see an AI video, as most of you can. I can even tell when there's a piece of text in front of me is AI as well. But what happens in three years when we actually can't differentiate with the human eye what was generated by AI and what wasn't? Where well, you would need machines to be learning what AI looks like versus the real thing and then therefore able to verify on the blockchain what is real and what isn't. Because that actually is life or death. The verification of content, especially in how connected the world is right now, is probably the most important thing we could be doing with the blockchain. And I don't see any other way to, to make that as good as possible without using AI. So the two things that I think are gonna bring about adoption that actually probably even need AI at this point are the smart contracts, creating smart contracts and combating misinformation and verification of digital assets online. So although out of the five things I've mentioned, not all of them need AI, it actually kind of act as more of like a little boost to, like for payments, if you could make them quicker than three seconds that with AI, then great. But it's not fundamental to the adoption. But certainly, I do think there is a link between the need for AI and the growth of blockchain over the next 10 years. Now, if you have your own thoughts on this video and you want to provide your own comments, I am checking for all the comments. Also, if you're tired of doing research all the time and you're just a bit exhausted from the market and paying attention 24-7, you don't actually have to anymore. What you can do is register for the newsletter, which is my weekly newsletter that comes out every single Thursday. I basically give you a rundown on all the big stories that have happened in the previous seven days. It's a five minute read, super easy. You're brought up to speed and then you can just delete the email and go on with the rest of your life. It's absolutely free, so make sure you're registering using the link in the description. We are now also entering our second month of the 1% Mastermind, and this month will feature three professional Q and A's with professionals in law, tax efficiency, tax mitigation, company structure, whole life insurance. If you're in the Mastermind, you get access to ask them questions live in the Discord. So if you're interested in topics about acting like your own bank and having access to private equity opportunities or even having access to professionals who understand digital assets, the 1% Mastermind is the place to be. The prices for the Mastermind go up every single week, so make sure you're getting in now. And the price that you pay gets locked in for as long as you're part of the Mastermind. I'm gonna talk about the Mastermind a little bit more at the end of this video, but if you're done here, I'm done here. Stay motionless and I'll see you in the next one. Over the last six months, things have started to shift. And by a shift, I mean over the last six months, more people who meet that high net worth individual status have been contacting, asking me if I can facilitate large crypto purchases, connect them with people in private equity. And I found, quite frankly, that I've been quite good at that. And as time has gone on, I've really realized that I can connect people with some fantastic deals, great investment opportunities, and provide solutions for people at that level that you've probably never thought of. I acknowledge that not everyone is a high net worth individual, at least yet. And so that's exactly why I've created the 1% Mastermind. Over the last two years of making content, I've seen one of the biggest demands and needs of the audience is to have a list of professionals that you can contact when this whole thing takes off. When all the money comes in, our portfolios are of high value, what now? What do we do? Who do we contact? There's also a group of individuals that want to improve and do business and network among other millionaires to be. 
Nobody in the digital asset space has ever seen anything like this. Wherever you are in the world, the plan of the mastermind is to be able to connect you with professionals, not only in accounting and tax and law and estate planning, but to connect you with individuals who actually understand the assets you hold. We know about this all too well. We call an accountant and you know more about Bitcoin and XRP than they do. And it's not just a directory of professionals that we're offering here. We also have unique investment opportunities for individuals, even if you don't meet the accredited investor requirements. When you think about diversifying your assets in the long term, you might be considering real estate, venture capital, private equity. You won't need to go over here to find a deal. You won't need to go over here to find a deal. It will all be housed in that one central location and you'll be surrounded by individuals that are on the same page as you and want the same thing, not just for themselves, but they want the same thing for you. In addition to all of that, we'll also have a library of content answering your specific questions. Not made for views, not made for engagement, but made specifically to add value to the library of content that there will be. As time goes on, the price of the membership will actually go up and likely will go up every single week from here on out. So join the 1% Mastermind today and I'll see you in there.